Hey, everybody. All right, all you Chicago fans out there, let's head to Mississippi, shall we? Doing the song Mississippi Delta City Blues. What a funky tune. That's all I'm going to say. What a funky tune. Terry Kath at some of his best. Let's go.
That song is so freaking groovy, it's ridiculous. Here's the thing. We listen to Chicago. I'm guilty of it as anybody. We listen to Terry Kath. We listen to him play guitar. We listen to him sing. We listen to the, to the horn section. We listen to all three guys on the horn section work their magic, hit those spikes, and, and just, just play us into a groove, right? We listen to Danny Seraphim's drumming and just, just killing it all over the place and playing that amazing combination of jazz rock shuffle drumming that, that he, he did so freaking well. And it, and again, a lot of people are guilty of this, no matter what genre of music. But we we hear it, but we ignore it. The bass playing. Now, again, I'm not saying we disrespect it. It's just it's meant to be the backbone of the band, and it's it, it's it's set into the middle of the mix. You, know, you can't have a great song without a great bass player, in my opinion. But with Chicago, there's so much else going on in the song that we can't help but, in some ways, overlook Peter Cetera's bass playing. So I challenge you and I urge you to go back and listen, to go watch all 25 or whatever videos that I've done of Chicago so far. Go listen to them all. And, and A, notice how many times I point out Peter Cetera's bass playing, but B, actually listen to the bass part when you're listening to Chicago. This bass part right here, uh, to me, because again, I, again, Peter Stare is an underappreciated bass player. This section right here, underneath Terry's vocal, is just killer. Listen to this. Oh my God, it's so good. It's hidden. It's hidden in the mix. You know, I mean, it's not buried or anything like that. It's there. It's very present. But, you know, we're always listening to, like I said, Terry's vocals or the rhythm guitar playing or the horn stabs or, or, or you know, um, Danny's amazing drumming. And it's so easy to look over the, the bass part. You know, so many other bands, too. It's like I, I pointed it out in Van Halen videos that I've done where, you know, people ignore what uh, Michael Anthony does on the bass. It's quintessential to that band. Um, go back, and I just did a video for uh, Chicago's Song for America, and the bass playing in that is ridiculous. And yet, you know, how many people know the guy's name? You know, I do. Do you? <laughs> and here, you know, Peter Cetera, just, oh my God, I want to listen to that again. Listen to it again. Here we go. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Anyway, hey, there's another Chicago video for you because we love Chicago here. Um, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Know that I appreciate you and I wish you all well. Y'all take care.